Welcome to episode 68. Tonight we're going to be diving even more deeper into the history of Winchester Mansion and find out how Sarah managed to build the house without any sorts of plan, which is proven to be both bizarre and yet successful. After speaking with the medium, Sarah Winchester was, in was instructed by the medium as follows. You must start a new life and build a house for yourself and for the spirit who have fallen victim to this terrible weapon, which is the Winchester Rifleman. You can never stop building. Continue building and you will live. Stop building and you will die. Sarah Winchester heeded this warning and did exactly what the medium told her. Moving to San Jose, California, where she bought a eight-room farm house, and that's when she, she began the construction of, of this elaborate mansion, which will continue to to be built right up until her death in 1922. And once that happens, all work on this house will cease much like the pharaohs of Egypt. When the construction of the house began in 1886, that's where things went for Sarah, adding new wings, hallways, and features, and mystical numbers with mystical meanings that only she can understand, and always constantly changing plans. And while her workers work 24 hours a day, seven days a week with nonstop work, all the way up until her death in 1922. That is a very long time to be keeping up, up with high demands from a woman who made it her mission to not only protect her family, but to appease the spirit and bring peace to them after while she expresses her grief and sympathy towards them and the rooms that she built for them and once they pass on, she demolishes it and built a new one. How, how does she manage to do it without any sorts of plan, which is exactly what she did? We will find out in the next episode. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Join me again in episode 69 as we find out how Sarah Winchester managed to build the house without any sorts of plan. And until next time, stay classy.